How heavy do you think this glass of water is? The absolute weight doesn't matter. It depends on how long I hold it. Now suppose I hold it for a minute, I guess it's okay. But if I hold it for about an hour, then I start feeling discomfort in my arm and my wrist. If I hold this for the entire day, I may end up injuring my hand. In each case, the weight is the same. The longer I hold it, the more heavier it becomes. That's the way it is with stress. If we carry all our burdens all the time, sooner or later they can get heavier and it will become difficult for us to carry on with them. But if you set them down, just like how I put the water down, get refreshed and carry the burden back, you may be in a better position to deal with them. And who knows, you may also find your solution. How do you do that? Let's find out. your personal coach helping you upskill yourself to lead the life you desire. Every one of us go through stress at some point or the other in our lives. But stress by itself is not really the problem. It's how we deal with it. How are we reacting to the stress is what becomes most important. So I have a question for you today. Do you know if you're stressed? The truth behind this question is that we're so used to stress that we typically function around it in an autopilot. You know, you don't even realize it. However, the symptoms of stress affect us physically, emotionally, psychologically, and even result into the behaviors that we have with ourselves and with those around us. So let me ask you quick questions and I want you to take some time out as you're watching this and look inward, look at yourself. Look at yourself physically and ask yourself this question. Did you add a bit of abdominal fat? Do you fall sick easily? Do weather changes affect your health? How is your fitness level? The stresses in our life affect our blood pressure. It also gives us acne or breakouts on your skin. It also has, it, it has a direct impact on the hair fall. You feel exhausted or tired all the time. There are so many other symptoms. Listen to your body it will always tell you that something isn't right. How do you feel emotionally? Do you feel angry, irritable, defensive or frustrated all the time? Do you feel tired waking up? Do you lack motivation in your life? Are you sensitive to criticism? The answers to these will indicate effects of stress on your emotional health. How is your ability to focus? Do you procrastinate? Are you forgetting things easily and getting distracted? Stress has a huge impact on your psychological health. All these, the physical, the emotional and the psychological health translates into the kind of behavior you have with others. So right now I want to ask you this question and I hope you answer this to yourself. How did you wake up this morning? Did you wake up feeling refreshed? Did you have a good night's sleep? If not, what is causing anxiety? Look at this pattern and how it all looks and I want you to be true to yourself as you listen to this. You're already worrying about some issue and to add to that anxiety, you pour into the social media until late in the evening and somewhere you drift into the sleep only to wake up exhausted and to push yourself further, you pump some caffeine into your body and then get to work hoping that it's gonna be a great day. But once you go to work, the pressures over there add up to your anxiety and then it loops again and again and again. Like I said it before, you set your burdens down for some time, get refreshed and then you will be in a better position to handle it. Case in point, if you are able to put your phone down for some time, at least like an hour or two before you sleep, put it away from where you sleep so that the uh, waves are not interfering in your sleep pattern, you will be able to sleep better, ensuring you sleep complete six or seven or eight hours of cycle that your body requires. And once you get a good night's sleep, you will wake up refreshed and will be able to take on whatever the pressures that the world will throw at you. I took an example of phone because somehow it became the number one stress creator in our lives. So try and evaluate how much of stress that phone is adding on to your existing pressures and what will happen if you actually put it down for some time. The moral of this video is that you identify what is stressing you out, what is adding to your existing anxieties and then you will be in a better position to handle it. Now there is a short quiz that can help you identify whether or not you are stressed in your life and I'm providing that link in the description below. Head there and check out, uh, check out the levels of stress that you are in. Or if you're really aware that you're stressed in life and need an expert and you can reach out to me, 
my details are given in the description as well so reach out to me and i will connect you to a stress management expert who can help you get out of your stressful situation and i'd like to end today with this beautiful quote by fred rogers in times of stress the best thing we can do for each other is to listen with our ears and our hearts and to be assured that our questions are just as important as our answers that's it for today when i come back next week i will share with you an effective technique that can help you manage your stress better i will also be talking to one of the stress management experts so in case you have any questions feedback suggestions please mention it in the comment section below or reach out to me in any of the social media platforms that i am in thank you so much for watching if you like this video do give it a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe to my channel subscribe and also hit the bell button so you'll never miss an update from me have a wonderful time bye